Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay, one and after kill, and I'm taking a break from the uh, ancient wonders today. And uh, we're coming back into modern times with the uh, Lockheed SR-71. That's right, it's an SR-71, my favorite jet in the world, and it has been since I was about six or seven years old back in the uh, late '80s when the X-Men cartoon was out, and. Uh, I was like, oh, wow, that Blackbird jet is awesome. And, I mean, to my um, astonishment, I found out one day, reading in the library at school, uh, that it was real. And I, I was like, what? No. I mean, these things look so futuristic that you would think that they are actually a cartoon uh, jet. Which they were, I mean, but, I mean, it's an SR-71. It's, it's the fastest, fastest jet on Earth. It's... It's crazy. It goes from London to Los Angeles in four hours. Four hours! It took me eight hours to come from Philadelphia all the way to freaking uh, California. And London is another six hours on a plane from here. So, just, just amazing how fast this thing is. It carries like 80,000 pounds of fuel. Let me, let me say that again. 80,000 pounds of fuel. That's about 12, 12 to 13,000 gallons. Uh, it's so crazy. It's like they have to jump start this thing with two big block Chevy engines just to get the thrusters to start up. And then by the time it gets in the air, all the fuel's gone and it has to refuel so it can make its trip. That's how crazy the SR-71 is. It's got to fuel up twice before it can even go where it's going. Uh... Now, from watching Top Gear, that's actually from, uh, they have to make the body panels to where they don't, uh, they don't fit right. That way, when it gets up into the air and it gets going so fast, the heat makes it expand and actually makes the body panels fit correctly, which is, uh, that's kind of cool. So, like, the Top Gear said, I think it was, uh, it leaks most of its, uh, fuel on the way up, so... That's, that's kind of amazing uh, feat of engineering right there that they were able to, you know, figure that out. And I'm sorry if I'm, you know, boring you guys with SR-71 facts, but, like, it's, like, the most interesting plane to me in the world. Like, I, I just, I could talk about this thing all day long. And, I mean, when I found out that they had one in, a what do you call that, in a Black Ops, I was like, what? And then, you know, Black Ops, it's super useful, and hopefully they bring that back in uh, later CODs, but... It's just, this thing is so awesome, I, I had to build it, and I'm just giving you guys a taste here. Uh, in about a couple seconds, you're going to see my uh, huge area that I've actually been flattening out, and there it is. That is going to be one of my next videos. Uh, that's not going to be done for another week or two, so, you know, you can hold on for that. I got a... I'm going to do a couple other builds in between my huge mega build. That's how I'm going to do it from now on. That way, I don't bore you guys waiting three weeks, two weeks for, you know, a huge, awesome build. So, I'm going to build a couple of these small things in between. This isn't really small. It's probably about 110 blocks long, about 55 wide, and about 18 tall. So, it's, it's pretty decent. It's not bad. I just figured, you know, I thought it was going to be a cool thing to build an SR-71. So... We're going to go fly down the end of this, you know, so you can get an idea of how long it is. And, uh, I'm Jay, more than after kill. Rate, comment, and thanks to everybody that's been subscribing. We're almost at a thousand, so I'll catch you guys next time. I'm going to have some more sick shit for you. Later, guys.